These are the four books getting ready to be sent out to be graded. If you want to know what they are, well, just stick around and you'll find out. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hello, my fellow Americans and people that collect comics all around the world. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And if you saw just yesterday, I did my video of the four comics that just came back from grading. So if you have not had the opportunity to see that yet, I highly recommend it. Uh, if you wait until the end of this video, you will see an image of it. I hope you'll click on it and see what the uh, grades came back as. I was very happy with all four. So... If you've never seen these before, I have a special deal with PGX where uh, you saw that little 10 second or less ad in the front of this video. They allow me to have four books a month graded. So I have some new books. I don't think, let me see. Yeah, I don't think I've had any of these books graded before. Some new ones this time. I thought I'd change it up a little bit. But uh, if you are a subscriber and you decide to use PGX, which, of course, you don't have to, but if you want to use their service, um, if you send 10 books in, you can get one of them pressed for free. And I always recommend to um, get your books pressed and dry cleaned no matter what service you use or what company you use. So if you want to check that out, the link is in the description. So I have my four books. I'll tell you how much um, I paid for them, the significance, if any, in the book what I think the grade will be, and I also include now the color of the pages, and um, that's it. So let's start getting into it. So the first two are newer books. This is my second copy of this book, and the reason I'm sending this to PGX is because it does need a pressing. Um, no color breaks, but there's a wrinkle in the back that um, could be pressed out. So this, of course, is Ultimate Fallout 4 which is the 1 in 25 variant. This is a very expensive book to get. Um, I got this one a couple years ago. I've been telling people to get this book, but now it's going to be out of reach for some people because you're talking 9.8s are in the thousands of dollar range at this point. But hey, if you ever find a deal, get this book because I absolutely love this cover. Uh, I'm not sure the artist that did the cover, but um, absolutely stunning. I paid for this book. A total of, including shipping and handling, $104.25. Um, with the pressing, I would say this is probably going to be about a 9.6 or higher. I'm not really sure how good the pressing will be, we'll, but we'll have to find out. So, of course, brand new book, White Pages, looks really good. This is definitely a book to get, um, even if you can't get the 1 in 25 variant. All right, next up. We have, I have so many of these, it's not even funny. Um, I got these back in 2014, 2015. I was telling people for years, this is a book you got to get. Um, I do not believe I've spent over, I think for one of them, I spent $50. That was the highest. The average has been between $18 and $35 for this book. And this is Edge of Spider-Verse number two. This is the first print. I probably have 10 copies, if not more. Uh, like I said, I bought them years ago, and I was highly recommending people to get these. Uh, years ago, I sent three in to CGC, and two came back 9.8s. One came back at 9.6. But what I love about this is I bought this off eBay a couple years ago, triple signed. So right here, it's signed by Robbie Rodriguez, Jason Latour, and Rico Renzi. So PGX, like CBCS, does signature verification. Uh, CGC does not do signature verification. They have to witness it. Otherwise, it will not qualify. So this is definitely a book that uh, you can send to PGX if you so desire. Uh, this is a pretty clean book. But again, it needs a little bit of a pressing on the back. Uh, no color break. So I'm not sure what it will do to the grade. So I will, stay, I will say... A 9.6 plus again. I'd love to get this a 9.8, especially with a triple signature. Uh, but I paid a grand total of $25.94 for this book. So that's why I tell people it is always good to pay for, to buy a book that you know is going to be popular at one point, way before everybody else thinks about it. Because you cannot get this book for under $75 anymore, unsigned. And if you can, snatch it up. 
So this book is definitely a desirable book, and in my opinion, still has room to grow. All right, so now let's get with the two older books this time, so something new and something old. This is a book, again, I was telling people years ago, I bought this. I have two copies, but I'm only going to send in one at a time. But this is Marvel Superheroes featuring Captain Marvel, issue number 13, which is the first appearance of Carol Danvers. Uh, obviously, that is who becomes the Captain Marvel years later and is going to have their movie coming out. Whether it's a success or not remains to be seen, but definitely a desirable book. Now, this does have a minor crease that breaks color, not all the way down, but there's some spots. But this is a thicker book, so that's not shocking with books like this. A couple of breaking creases of color. Uh, there is a little dog ear there, but again, the pressing could help that little corner, but nothing major. Um, I paid for this book, like I said, I bought this years ago, so I paid a grand total of $57.26 for these books, well, for this book, and I'm going to predict probably about a 4.0 to a 5.0 range with off-white to white pages, definitely a book to get, uh, again, I was telling people years ago to pick up this book, and, uh, you can't even get a 0 0.5 for that price anymore, so I'm looking forward to seeing what that will come back as, and last but not least, this will be the key issue of the um, of the bunch. Again, I paid less than what a 0 0.5 currently is going for. I bought this years back. This is Amazing Spider-Man issue number four. Now, make no mistake, this is a lower grade. The lower staple is detached from the cover. You could see part of the cover here was ripped. Uh, there's a piece missing right here. There is a rolled spine, but that could be pressed out. You could see the color of especially Spider-Man is faded because it's definitely a little lighter than the red here. The uh, comics code has been pe peeled off. There might have been a sticker or a piece of tape there. There's a lot of chipping along the spine. It says a couple little tears along there as well, but some of this could be pressed out. There is somebody's writing there. And on the back cover, about this much of the back is missing now there's a coupon so they didn't clip out the coupon so luckily for that because that would lower it even more but a piece is missing here but again i paid less than a 0 0.5 because this is the first appearance of the sandman so for me i mean again i bought this around 2015 2016 or did i buy this in 2017 it was either 2016 or 2017 that i bought this book but um I didn't want to put any books that I put this year before I give the price because in December I will be doing my top books for um, the ones that I bought raw and the ones I bought graded. So at the end of the year, I always do the top picks of the year. So I didn't want to have anything sent out that won't come back until January. Um, so I want to make sure that any of the books I bought this year were not sent out. So all four of these books I bought from 2017 or earlier. So I won't have to worry about that. But um, I am going to predict this book is about a 1.8 to a 2.5. Probably more realistic around a 2.0. But I'd even be happy with a 1.8 because, again, I am paying. I paid less for it than what the current price is at a 0 0.5. Uh, cream to off-white pages. I only paid a total of $150. And I'd have to check again, so don't quote me. But I believe a 0 0.5 is about currently value of about $450. So um, I can't complain about this no matter what the grades are. And again, I basically do this because of the fact that I do want to get them slabbed and protected. Because especially books like this, you know, when they're delicate, you don't want to keep opening them. And all of a sudden, next thing you know, you tear off the cover or pop the staple. So getting them graded is going to protect them. So don't forget, don't forget to wait until the end, but let me show the four books again. You got Amazing Spider-Man number four, Captain Marvel 13, uh, technically Marvel Super Heroes, a triple-signed Edge of Spider-Verse issue number two, first print, and an Ultimate Fallout 4, which is the first Miles Morales 1 in 25 variant. So that's it. If you want to give it a like, I would definitely like that you liked it. If you want to share it, that's even better. If you want to subscribe... Welcome to the We Loves Comics community. And if you wait until the end, please make sure you give a little shout out to the person that gets the shout out because 9 out of 10 ask for it. So if you'd like one, just hit subscribe and you can ask and you'll get it. So if you stayed until the end,
please tell me what this is, which obviously is a comic book backing board. And don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics, and we're going to zoom in. That's all I have to say. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to connect with me on Facebook, just click right here. If you want to join our cashback program and get $10 off your first purchase of $25 or more, click here. And then if you aren't subscribed, we'd love you to join by clicking here.